distinction between statements and expressions. I'd say that for some applications, that isn't right, right? There, there are situations where that would be a negative. Um, other than that, um, I guess the rule of thumb is when you set out to write an application, you really need to look at what the business requirements are, what the functional requirements are, and then try to match your, your selection of tools to that. Um, I would imagine uh, that if your focus was a very simple cloud backend and a native uh, iOS application, Scala would probably not be a very good choice for you. It would be overkill. You wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily use it. It would do you no good for writing a native iOS application. So, I mean, that's my answer. My short answer is it depends. Um, I think the, uh, the area that I've seen the opportunity in for Scala is definitely in big data and predictive analytics and highly scalable and distributed um, big data type applications. It's not the right tool for everything. For sure. Not a silver question. bullet. It's not a silver bullet, yeah. No, there are no silver bullets. Who believes in silver bullet? I do. <laughs> sure. So, excuse me, as far as I understand, uh, you mean the Scala won't be a replacement as Java, as, uh, as, ja as Java, as Java, as Java, as Java for the standard uh, condition. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, that's what I saw. So we're uh, using uh, just writing on some applications, some uh, set clients, for example, installer, uh, in your opinion, it would be overkill. Mm. Some desktop application, not, not server side application. Yeah. yeah, no, I don't think it's appropriate for mobile or for desktop. I think it's back end, it's back end server cloud environment primarily. And I with, with scalability demands, um, massive concurrency as a as, as goal, um, which is related to scalability. So I, I think that's its best application. I'm not saying that's its only place, but that's, that's the place where I think it distinguishes itself. I don't understand your answer. I'm from my mind, it's when you start and doing some installer, this time it's become a bit unusual to go back in Java and then mm -hmm. you're doing some Java and uh, you are, it's, it's a bit unusual to go back for Scala. So, I mean, maybe. Yeah, I, I guess I agree with you. I, I, if you make the commitment, once you've made that commitment, well then you can probably take the tools and the platform and use it for more than what it's being used for right now. So I agree with that. Uh, but you haven't had some cases for using Scala. No, and if you look at TypeSafe, if you look carefully at TypeSafe, you know, look at what they've done, who their customers are, they're typically being almost probably 98, 99% used in the back end for highly scalable, massively concurrent kinds of problems. So that doesn't mean that's the only place to use it, but that's where they've been successful. So. I think we have one over here, and I'll try to come back to you. Go ahead. Very small question. I have one that I did work. Uh, more recent dark compatible languages, like what are from the grades of maybe the whole slide or from the right now? And what do you think about that? I think it's a good trend. You know, I, I, I like it. I think it's good for the Java community. I think it introduces competition. There's a lot of entrepreneurial effort coming from the development tool side. I think it's really hard to, to be successful in that space. Um, you know, it takes uh, uh, a well thought out commercial plan, it takes money. It's very hard, I think, to do that uh, on a bootstrap basis. TypeSafe, I think, has raised already maybe $10 million. They have you know, professional investors in the company. So I think. You know, I think it's good, but I think it's also hard. <laughs> it's my, it's, uh, it, 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 you shouldn't try it unless you're prepared for uh, a tough competition, would be my uh, comment. Did you want to go next, or a couple more questions? We've got maybe time for one, one more question. Uh, he hasn't asked a question yet, so. Do you have some information about GUI and about GUI? 
Yeah, I, I, I would refer you to, to the play framework from TypeSafe. Um, you can get uh, from their website, you can get a good handle on, on that question by, I think, actually downloading it and playing with it. Um, I don't have uh, a lot, I haven't done that myself, but that's, that's the best GUI framework that I'm aware of right now um, for, for Scala. Okay, well, we are at about time to finish. So, I'm going to give away the toy helicopter. The person who I think asked the best question. It's a tough competition, but I'd like to present. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.